how, how would you actually know how much damage the X does? Like, do you guys use, let's say, a special version of the game, which maybe shows more information to you? Or do you really play on something which has the same interface that the, the gamers would be using? Yeah, so most, most testing is done on debug builds. So they're builds that have essentially cheat codes or extra information. So you can pop up like how many frames per second you're getting or how much damage you're doing. Or a lot of times too, when you're working with AI, you'll get a little text box that shows you all of the AI actions that are being taken around you. Um, and it'll prompt errors. So you'll see a lot of extra menus, a lot of extra text. Um, and one of the great habits that I you know, preach to people is when you know you're using a lot of stuff like that, just start recording your gameplay before you start. Because then you can go back and look at all of that in, you know, at your time instead of needing to do everything in real time. So yeah, you most of your testing is done on that kind of build. And then you usually get to final or release builds towards the end of development where they pull all that debug out. And that's when you get serious about performance, you get serious about the player experience. And and it's it's especially important in those last few months because the debug can cause a lot of bugs. So you'll get a lot of false positives where if you teleport to level three, instead of playing up to level three, you may get progression blockers that you'd never see playing to level three and vice versa. If you're skipping level one and two all the time, you could have issues in level one and two and just never know about it. So debug usually gets pulled out pretty, pretty late in development, but as soon as possible.